Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to backup and restore a database through SSH or Secure Shell. The first thing that you want to do is open up the Secure Shell command. I like to use PuTTY. So I'm going to open up PuTTY and make sure that you put your IP address and the port number. We open, type in your username and your password. At this point, once you're logged in, we will be using the following code to create a dump or a backup of our database. And this backup will be placed in a folder of your choosing. Now, normally what newcomers to the online world will do is that they'll use PHP My Admin to backup their database. But once that database becomes too large, some servers won't allow you to download the complete file. So you'll need to do it through server side. Take a look at this code. We have the following location for where MySQL dump is located. Now this will be different for different operating systems. I'm using CentOS 7 and that's where it's located. So you'll need to find out where MySQL dump is. Then you type in the username. For me that's root and the database that I want to back up has the name smf2 underscore test. Notice that I've replaced database name with the following table name. And you want to name your backup to anything that you like, just as long as it's recognizable. It doesn't have to be the same name as the database. So I'm just going to call it test.sql. And also before we continue, notice that test.sql has been placed in a dedicated folder on my server, which I created called backup. So you may want to do the same thing. Or you can place it wherever you like on your server. It really doesn't matter. And I'll copy and paste this right into PuTTY. You can paste stuff into PuTTY by clicking the right button on your mouse. And it's going to prompt for the password, the MySQL password that you use for root. Now, of course, you'll want that stored somewhere safe. And I'll just uh, type it in right now. And as you can see, the table has been saved. Now, normally, if the table is really large, this process will take a little longer. It might even take a minute, depending on how large your database is. But just to show you, that it has been created. I'm using WinSCP here and as you can see after I click F5 for refresh the database has been produced and the date is shown here and now we can move on. So just to give you an idea of how this is restored let's pretend that I deleted everything here. Let's say I deleted everything here. I'm just going to drop everything and then restore it. So I just dropped everything inside of this database. And then to restore, we'll be using this code. Notice that the table name is written again, smf2 underscore test. And the location on where the dump was placed. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that back into PuTTY. So right click, and it's going to prompt for your password again, don't forget. So this part right here is the table that we want to restore, and this is where the backup is located. Prompt for the password. We will paste it in, and watch this. Seems like everything works. So let's go back and see what PHP admin reports. So I'm going to refresh this page. And there you go. Everything that we deleted is now back. And so there you have it. That is how to back up and restore a database through SSH on a CentOS 7 machine.